Hi and welcome again. Okay, so we'll take a trek right there. It's not that hard, maybe. But let's get to the blast transform for this function. S over S minus two or shift two square plus nine. So in the previous examples we did we just remove the shift first and then we know that the function here is hold on the function is here s square over s over s square plus nine is cosine omega t cosine three t and shift by two. But this is not just it because there is no shift there minus two. Okay. In order to solve these problems you need to adjust the shift. So if you have shift here, you must put it right there also to this. So very simple, you're just going to put minus one, minus two plus two. You did nothing, you just add to zero. And this is a very tricky thing in, in math that you could use. So we're gonna take this to uh, divide it by this. Now we have a good question. S minus 2 over, we have the shift adjusted, S minus 2 square, plus 9. Then, take the other part, plus, inverse of S, of 2 over, S minus 2, square plus 9. Now you can solve it. Now you can solve the problem. Right? Because if you can look very carefully, there is no S here. So the shift is adjusted. Here there is S, so the shift is adjusted by minus 2. Like like this one. Now we can get Laplace inverse Laplace for this function. Remove the shift first. So we have s over s squared plus nine. This is the formula of cosine. So we have cosine omega t. Omega is here. The square root of this number. So omega is three t. Then multiply by e to the exponential of the shift. The shift here is minus two. So put 2 here. That is very simple, isn't it? Very well. Okay. Also remove the shift. We have a constant or an, uh, an amper right there. Over S squared plus omega squared. This is the shape of or the picture of sine. But there is a little bit of a problem. There must be omega right there. Okay. So how to make it? We just get get this out here okay and they did so now it's clear it's one there is one in there so now you can put omega omega is the square root of this number so omega is three and then anything you add in the parentheses you gotta divide it by so you put three then you're gonna divide by three very simple. Now everything is just right. Okay. Now you have sine omega t, sine 3t. Okay. But there is shift. There is shift to minus 2. So we're going to put the exponential to 2t. Two, 2 here refers to the shift. Okay. If you don't know that, Look at the previous videos, we have proved many things. Okay, so before watching Laplace, inverse Laplace, you need to watch Laplace transform itself. Okay, very, very well. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about uh, how to use len um, with inverse Laplace. See you. Thank you for watching.